Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Donna here. Thanks for stopping by today for the second episode of Super Sunday. And in full disclosure, this is not Sunday. This is Thursday, but you'll see this on Sunday. And the day that you see this, we are actually scheduled to have high 50s in the morning and temperatures no higher than like the upper 70s. That's a cold front for us. I am looking forward to it. And we will be probably be having some of this leftover soup on that Sunday afternoon. But uh, the soup we're going to do today, I mentioned earlier, is a ham and navy bean soup. This is a great soup to use for, well, I'd say after Easter or any time that you cook a ham. And actually what I cooked this time was a smoked shoulder. Now that is sometimes known as a smoked picnic. It's a delicious cut of meat uh, and we boil it and use it just like we would for corned beef for a boiled dinner with uh, rutabaga and squash and potato and carrots and all of that stuff with it. Now had I been thinking I would have saved the broth from when I originally cooked this ham because not only is the ham taste in it but once you take the ham out on one of those dinners, you put all of the other ingredients in that pot and you boil them all in the same broth. And so that broth has been flavored by all kinds of vegetables and goodness. So I should have put it in a container and put it in the freezer to use when I make this navy bean soup. But I didn't, so we'll have to do it without. And it will still taste delicious because I did have the bone left and it had a lot of meat on it so um, it'll work out just great. Let me show you one thing I did get just recently. Now these are containers that I got from Amazon and they are quart size okay and they all come with the lid So they are perfect for leftover soup. And right now I have one in the freezer labeled French onion soup. And so there'll be one in the freezer probably labeled uh, ham and navy bean soup. It's a great way to have it. You get a little stock of soups. And that quart size is perfect for the two of us to take out and heat up again. So I'm going to show you what I, where I'm at with this soup right now. This is kind of just a dump and go recipe. There's not a whole lot you have to do. Uh, I'm, I'm going to bring you down to the pot so you can see what's going on. Hold on. Okay, here's the pot that I'm using. And I put my spoon somewhere. We'll get another one. And you can see the, the water is a little murky and that's because I have already boiled this ham bone. The reason being that I did pre-soak the beans overnight. So I didn't want to boil those forever, uh, but I wanted to boil the ham bone for a while so that I could get some good flavoring into this water. So what I'm going to do now is I've got this pot, I'm going to bring it up to heat again, and we're just going to add the rest of the ingredients. In this bowl, I have a couple of carrots and a couple of stalks of celery. And here I have one onion cut up. And here I have, of course, the beans. that have been soaked overnight, rinsed, drained. Now to that I'm going to add a bay leaf. A little bit of garlic powder. and a good amount of pepper. I 
I'm not going to add any salt because this was a smoked shoulder. Smoked means salty and it is a very salty cut of meat. So what I'm going to try to do now is, is it's been here long enough that I think I can cut off some of these pieces and we'll put those right back in there. Some of them they just kind of shred right up. And not much left on that. Try to avoid the fatty parts because it is a shoulder so there's a lot of fat in that cut of meat which of course then leads it to a lot of flavor too. That's another bone, nothing in it. And look at this, this was still on the bone. Now I have two more containers of ham that I took out of the freezer because I wasn't quite sure at the time how much ham was going to be on that bone. But there really seems to be quite a bit. I might put some of that in. We like a lot of meat in the soup. Now some people put uh, a can of diced tomatoes I'm not really a fan of having the tomatoes in there. So this is really hot stuff over here. <laughs> and what I will do is basically just bring this up to a boil, turn it down to a simmer, and simply let it go until the beans are soft. Now, the other reason um, I don't want to put any salt in now is because sometimes that keeps the beans from softening up. Although, now that they've been soaked, that's probably not going to happen. That's a little too big. Now, this, like I said, I had this smoked shoulder. This is perfect to make one of these soups because it gives it such good flavor, as any ham would do. Uh, but this is a smoked ham. So if you don't have a ham left over and you want to make navy bean soup, you can always pick up a package of ham hocks at the grocers. I'm going to add a little more. After all, it's called ham and navy bean soup. So there you go. And the last thing I'm going to add, let me just get something to wipe my hands. <clears throat> is a couple of good spoonfuls of this better than bouillon ch chicken base. And the ham gives it a good ham flavor, but this will also enhance the flavor of the broth. I love this stuff. Okay, we're going to cover it, bring it to a boil, let it simmer, and I'll be back when it's ready to serve. That's all there is to making this soup. Not difficult at all. It's sort of like, I guess you'd call it a dump and go. So I'll be back in a while when the soup is ready. See you in a bit. 
Okay, here we are back, and it's done. And I would say, all in all, I simmered it probably three hours. And the last hour, I simmered it with the top off, just so it would evaporate and thicken just a little bit. I've taken the bay leaf out. Let's just get a view of this soup. There you go, look at that, huh? Navy bean and ham soup. So uh, I simmered it, like I said, about three hours and I had pre-soaked the beans. So it probably would take at least that or longer if you didn't pre-soak the beans. Now, if you find this getting too thick for you later, because as it sits, it might get thicker, just add some water to it because this broth is already so flavorful. Uh, I'm going to bring it up and see if I can take a taste. It's mighty hot right now. Okay. I'll put my glasses back on. I never wear my glasses. I don't know why I have them on. <clears throat> I think you can. Oh, I don't know that you can even see me. Now, let's see here. Okay, I don't know if you can see this. Let's see if I can get that without burning my mouth off. Oh my word. It is delicious. It doesn't need any salt. That broth is salty. Um, and the first spoonful I had, I dripped right down the front of my shirt, which is very normal for me when I eat soup. I usually try to wear whatever color soup I'm going to be eating. <laughs> so it is delicious. The beans are nice and soft. Mmm. Absolutely delicious. Try it out. Like I said, if you don't have a ham, get some ham hocks uh, at the grocery store. I would use two. In some grocery stores, you can even ask uh, the butcher for a ham bone. They may have some if they do some chopped up ham and, and make ham and, you know, some of the times in their um, hut cases, they make things with ham. But you can always ask if they have any ham bones. Otherwise, the smoked ham hocks work wonderfully. So that's so simple. About a cup of carrots, a cup of onion, a cup of celery. I added some chicken stock to the chicken base to the water that the ham bone had been soaking in and it's perfect absolutely perfect so that's this week's super sunday ham and bean soup navy bean soup um, give it a try i think you'll like it it's a good comforting um, feel warm soup in for the winter months and although it's not the winter months yet i'll have some in my freezer so when it is i'll be ready so that's it for this Sunday, and next Sunday, uh, I'm thinking my soup is going to be a hamburger soup. We've had a ham soup, and we've had an onion soup, so we use a hamburger soup. That's, a, it, that's an inexpensive soup to do, and um, you can make a lot, and it's great. It's a good way to get veggies into your kids. So I'm going to say goodbye for right now and hope everybody's having a great afternoon and evening. Enjoy the soup and I'll see you next Sunday for the next Super Sunday. Everybody, play nice now. Bye-bye.